All right, there's nothing that says Christmas like a Charlie Brown Christmas, right? And of course, all of these decorations that we have here. Uh, Carrie McBeth is joining us today to tell us how to get over a big challenge that a lot of people in Metro Vancouver face, and that is how to decorate a small space. I myself live in a condo, so I understand mm -hmm. the frustration, um, but you have some tips on how to, I guess, maybe not make your place look so cluttered with too much Christmas stuff. Yeah, in Vancouver, as we all know, the condos now are sitting at about 600 square feet. You mm -hmm. don't have a lot of room. A question I get often is, how do I decorate my small space? I'm going to have some people over. How do I, you know, get them in here where it's not so cluttered? So what we have done today is we have created a condo feel uh, for the holidays. And we've got a small space yes. here on set. So we started with, uh, this tree here is called a pencil tree. Mm -hmm. And it is specifically for small spaces. So they're fantastic. Fantastic. You can use those and you can don't be afraid to elevate too. Um, putting it on top of something to give yourself a little bit uh, more room. But a pencil tree is a great way to utilize the space. The second thing you can take a look at. This is so this is so pretty. This is a holiday ball and it's made out of boughs, which is so nice. So you could actually make this on your own. It's really easy. You go out for a nice walk, grab some boughs off of, of the trail. You pop it into one of those uh, styrofoam oasis mm -hmm. and um, and it's it's beautiful and then pop your presents underneath this is something else that uh, that's uh, just a fantastic thing to do is to have your decor as your presents. So wrap them. These are hysterical. I love these. Mm -hmm. um, the little uh, reindeer. They're very cute. The little <laughs> reindeer. So that is part of the decor. And I guess that could substitute for a tree. Exactly. If, if you just don't have the space, right? If that's all you can do. Exactly. <laughs> so just play around with this space. Again, you could elevate this. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have a lot of room, you could put it. I mean, this one's a little bit tall, but you can get smaller, smaller stands. So elevate it and then it's off of the ground and giving you a little bit more That's room. right, giving you more height, right? Exactly. All right, what's this over here? This is uh, in the condos. We often are finding that there's not enough room to have a dining room table, so you've got your island. When you have the chairs in front, what you want to do is to doll up the chairs. So if you take a little wreath and then you put a very basic uh, ribbon on it, what you do is you hang it off of the back of a chair. So if this was the chair, you would just take it, secure it, and it hangs off the back of the chair oh. and it adds that decor piece. Just those little touches, little right? Little teeny touches will make such a large impact. Also utilizing window space. If you've got windows, taking something um, such as a gorgeous snowflake mm -hmm. and hanging it in your window, so hanging pretty. it off of, of the back door. Uh, these just add that little bit of touch to the space that you already have without it taking up any mm -hmm. more room. Now this is, it can be difficult for a lot of people because you have to rearrange a lot of stuff to have mm -hmm. a big a garland like this. Where mm -hmm. would you put this? You can actually again, do this on the island. Now this is a larger uh, garland, obviously. This is a little bit more space. Uh, but one of the key things that you, you should do is focus on your bar. If you're going to be entertaining this year, <laughs> you're going to have a fully stocked bar. But have some, just get a little bit creative with your bar. So what we've done is I've got a Santa cover on a bottle of wine. Oh. So so instead of just a bottle of wine being there, it winds up being a decor piece. And then you can play around as well with some of the wine glasses. So I've got a little snowflake. This is an edible snowflake. This is so much fun. Indigo sells these. Um, they also sell the little snowmen that, that we have here. It's a marshmallow. So you can <laughs> eat these and they look fantastic. Oh, they're squishy. <laughs> they're, yeah, and they're playful. So you can do with that. Then, um, you know, this is a great bottle. We, we're seeing a lot more of these bottles that have... Um, uh, a real holiday decor piece mm -hmm. to them. Use it, use it, put it out there. It looks wow. like a candy cane, it's festive. Throw that with one of your little Christmas mugs. And uh, these are pretzels. And you've got a little scene here too. I love the way you have this kind of setup here. I, I, I know <laughs> it's breakfast time right now, but I'm like, that looks really tasty. <laughs> these, are, these are great. And uh, utilizing some of the foods, this is fantastic. These are peppermints. And then what I've done here too is added the gingerbread man. So some of your liqueur bottles 
balls might not be as holiday-ish, but you can make them into that. This is a gingerbread whiskey. You put it with a gingerbread man uh -huh. in front of his gingerbread house. But well, some really great ideas there. And I, I guess kind of the running theme is like little touches, right? To make little a touch touches. impact. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. And don't forget about your books. I mean, this is nostalgia. Charlie <laughs> Brown. Yeah, I went to Indigo last night and got this. I love Charlie Brown. So it's it's a it's a very family uh, warm feeling yeah, for the holidays. Yeah, pull out those pieces you already have, exactly. right? Exactly. Clark Griswold. <laughs> Great advice. All right, Carrie, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank Hopefully you. You can start decorating, but uh, as we said earlier this week, wait till December 1st. Well, you don't have to. <laughs> we'll be right back after this break.